Slump City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? All right, I'm done. Everything should be good, right? <laughs> hey Dude, we are back. Libby's back. Tina's back. Randy's back. Randy's back. Randy's, back. back. Randy's always been here, though. We, uh... Randy has such a setup now, it looks like we are going to take off into space. I feel like I'm about to get into Elon Musk's capsule <laughs> and get shot straight into the sky. It's right into space. If you had to choose Jeff Bezos' capsule or Elon Musk's. Elon, 100. Me too. Maybe not because I like his personality, but just because, like, I don't know. I just think I don't like bald people much. <laughs> Or bug As I was people. getting ready to say that, I looked over at Randy and was like, oh, fuck, he's bald. Randy's yeah. like, I'm not bald. I shave my head. Randy, do you bick your head? I bet he bicks it. What happened? I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. You bick that shit? Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Fucking lovely. That's tight. You ever get a to. little, you ever get a little nick on your head? Yeah, I just uh, recovered from run, actually. Did you put a <laughs> Band-Aid on top of it like an old person with a lesion? Uh, no, man. I just uh, <laughs> rubbed some dirt on it and got on with my day. Well, that's ready for an infection. That's what it an is, American man. does, guys. The ringworm thing I'm going for. That's what an American does. That's just, you know, you pull yourself up by your big straps. I got something to say about Americans. What's that? Wow. <laughs> first of all i just want to say when i was in vegas first two days worst part of america <laughs> you well, see it all well uh, because whitney cummings paid for the hotel at the wind for two days uh i got to see luxury like i've never seen before oh i Fancy. saw i saw chelsea's room and <laughs> literally was like i can't even comprehend this it's like a whole house well, mine was pretty fancy too. It wasn't that level, but it yeah. was well. It was as big as my house. Was it, it really? It was big. So, what was yours like? Do you? I mean, I'm sure you're going to put it up on OnlyFans or whatever. But <laughs> it it was big. It was like a, a big bedroom area, a big sitting area, like a living room, great room, <laughs> the den, if you will. It was a great room, a big bathroom that had not one but two sinks. So you could use a sink. Jack and Jill sinks. <laughs> That's what they call them. They had a, a, a toilet room with a phone. Nice. So that if you are just done, if you're just like, <laughs> oh, God, this this dump is really taking it out of me. You can call for help. Yep. Or if you remember anyone's phone numbers, you could possibly dial it. Sure. You could call your family and be like, hey, what's up, bitches? <laughs> I'm shitting. I'm shitting right now, and I'm in a closed off. I'm just, in a closed circuit bathroom, <laughs> closed circuit toilet. Just very nice. They came by twice a day and said, "Miss Miss Libby, uh, do you need anything for your room? Uh, towels?" Put and did you say yes every time? Just to yeah, I needed some towels. Put them to work. You're like, oh god. I mean, the amount of cum <laughs> that that's in this room. has been happening is we're gonna need more towels. Right. And they're like. Okay, we actually did not need you to tell us this. <laughs> so we'll be back up with room service and uh, a spray that is similar to Flex Seal immediately <laughs> sucks up all of cum in room. You spray around, do a, a wet big, deck. do a big quick circle, <laughs> do a spin like you're a little girl. A ballerina. On like ice, a ballerina. Like you're an ice capades. Ice capades. <laughs> Dude, the Olympics are getting ready to come up. Can't wait for that. But yeah, so you are just uh, living in the top of luxury. Ooh. But then. Did you have to pay for the room service? Well, I didn't know it at the time, but no. But I. You were paying I, for it. I ordered. I thought I was paying for it. So I ordered cheaply. I ordered the $22 grilled cheese the first time. Because uh, I was trying to be on a budget. Sure. Trying Turns to be, out I could have ordered lots of stuff. Trying to be kind. Did she tell you like, oh, you can order whatever you want? Well, she didn't or tell how me. how did you guys figure this I, out? I went to check out and I said, look, I, the room is paid for. I want to just pay for the room service. And they're like, 
we actually don't have a credit card on file, so you're going to have to pay for the whole thing. And then she showed me the bill, and I was like, okay, um, that's not happening. And I explained to her, I was like, I just played your theater last night, ma'am. It's like they didn't believe that I was with the Whitney Cummings party. You said that? Did yes. you say I played your theater? Well, after a few minutes, because she kept saying like, well, I we're going to have to call Whitney. And I'm like, first of all, don't call Whitney. Don't call Whitney Cummings. If you call Whitney Cummings, I'm going to look like a fucking poor per. I'm going right. to look like I'm going to look like fucking white trash. And I, uh, so then I had to get a hold of some of the people that I knew from Whitney's party entourage entourage. And they ended up helping me. But it's like they didn't believe the whole uh, time. Whitney party of 10. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so then I was like, OK, I want to stay in Vegas a couple more. I checked out, went to a place called Golden Nugget. <laughs> I want. I should have went there. It that was called Tropicana. Rock. Okay, love that. Wow, big uh, palm trees in there. Yep, felt Good. like I was transported back into the 1980s. Mm-hmm. My kind of people. Neon, <laughs> a lot of neon colors. I felt very in my culture. I want to look at what what's goes on there. Oh no, you look at the pictures. You think it's nice. Show up. It's a different story. Got it. Smells but like cigs. Lots of lots of people wearing masks that said this mask is as useless as Biden. Great. Nice. Love don't, that. Don't want to get political, but I just want to say some Love of the masks that. I saw. That's great. Oh, yeah. And they're like, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> saw that, a couple of those shirts. Saw a really good one recently that just said FJB. <laughs> and at first I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, that means fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm like, cool. I mean, don't do that. Just write fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> we, we we said fuck Trump. So why can't you just say right? Joe Biden? Just say who you hate, brother. Another, That's all you got to do. You know how many people I hate? Ooh, Tropicana Las Vegas is a double tree. Okay. Did they double, have cookies? No. Double tree needs to drop Tropicana. That's not how it looks. I'm sorry. What is it? Does it look Does more it look scummy? Like, Does all that white have like a yellow. cigarette film? Everything's yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Another, yeah. <laughs> another favorite mask I saw was this mask is worn by force and force is in capital letters and bigger the biggest font you've ever seen. This mask is worn by force. It's in Times New Roman. God, could you imagine <laughs> getting a mask with the font in Times New Roman? I can't imagine getting a mask that has a, a political statement, a on slogan it. on it. <laughs> I don't. I. You know, the most political masks I got was a Grateful Dead mask. <laughs> and it, if anything, it just made people approach me and be like, "Hey, brother, I love the Grateful Dead too." <laughs> And I was like, hey, brother. cool. And then we pounded it. And that was pretty much that. Oh, God. Okay, so I have seen those like, this mask is worn by force. <laughs> seen a few of those. And it's like always kind of people that are strong, but not as strong as they think they are. It was real nice. I, lo- I loved being in there, though, because anytime we'd go to a different casino like uh, the Wynn, Mm-hmm. It's a fancier place. You're you know? talking $10 buy-ins, too. There and, ain't no $5 tables. You might be looking at a $20 table. And you have to wear a bra. You can't. Like, at the Tropicana, I was They free. told you you had to wear a bra? Well, that's a different story. But, I mean, you look trashy if you're walking around the wind with no bra and, and sweatpants like that's I was. so fucking lame. Uh, but at, at Tropicana, I, I got up early a couple times just to go play a couple slots. No bra. T-shirt. No neck, problem. Flip-flops. But I fit in. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody looked at me like, oh, this, wow, this gal's really, nope, nobody no. looked at me. Y- you're you're right at home there. And to be honest, that's how I felt. Like when Rafe and I have been to Vegas, we feel the most at home on in old Vegas on Fremont Street. It's, it's, that's the spot, It's our culture. Brother. That's who we are. I'm not an Aria win. <laughs> Kind of guy. MGM. MGM. No way. You know why? You know the only way I'll be in an MGM casino is if I hear a fucking lion roar louder than the fucking (laughs) every lion in the Serengeti together. (laughs) Or if you see Chris Angel doing an illusion. Uh, Yeah. Oh. And he just zaps you over to there. Chris Angel's at the MGM? No, it's the other guy. Oh, okay. Uh, Who's the other magic guy? Uh, Jeff Dunham. Close. <laughs> the guy that... Oh, God, Who what's... is the other magic guy? There's Chris <laughs> Angel. Copperfield. Who? David Copperfield. Copperfield. 
Yeah, he. You we, know what? We did. I, I mixed him up all the time with David. Uh, not Copperfield. What's his name? Uh, the guy from Baywatch. Real hot. <laughs> Hasselhoff. <laughs> Real hot. Mix him up all the time. You say David Copperfield. First thing that comes to my mind, guy from Baywatch, <laughs> Mr. Hasselhoff. Don't just think of illusions and very serious faces. Whoa. Yeah, his picture was on the side of the building and it when it I looked out nose. my window at Tropicana, he's looking right at me. No matter what I was doing. Whether I was picking my behind, sleeping, he's you, right there looking at me. You open up the thing and your tits are out and hit, all of a sudden his face on the thing just changes to this <laughs> from this to <laughs> and you're like, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. And the eyes go, wah, wah, <laughs> he goes, oh, 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 man. <laughs> we, okay. We did go to MGM the last night, and I found the perfect thing for my gambling because I always want to play the tables, but I'm too scared. What tables would you like to play? Like Roulette what games? And blackjack. Okay. I love playing blackjack, but I'm scared. Yeah. You know? I don't want a $15 bet on each thing is huge. Oh, that's too much. That's why you got to go to Fremont Street, Daddy. $5 fucking tables. It's still scary because there's other people there. The sure. dealer's looking at you. Well, I found this thing. It was video. Blackjack. It was all done by video. Mm-hmm. Except there's a live dealer, a live person spinning the wheel for roulette. Okay. And you just sit and press your numbers on the screen. Mm-hmm. $6 minimum. Right. Ended up winning almost $200. And didn't you win like a thousand at slots? I did. I hit the jackpot at Tropicana. And did the whole place just erupt? No, nobody did anything. Okay, so. Because all those machines, no matter if you're winning three cents or a thousand dollars, make the same sound. Too much, too many sounds. Too, and it tricked me every time. I thought, wow, I really hit the jackpot 20 cents. I'm going to be honest, on those slots mm-hmm. that are like the computer ones, you know, the buffalo one, you mm-hmm. hear the buffalo <laughs> just like riding. All of those, I am so confused all the time. I'm like, what am I supposed to win? What do, not like the amount, but it's like, what constitutes a win? So many, too many lines. There will be a time when I'm like, there's seven Buffalo in a row. Why didn't I win anything? Like, I played one that was like, do you understand it? No, I just wait till it lights up and makes a noise. And then I look, you won. And I look at the amount. I wonder how many people are playing like us. Because I mean, I accidentally spent like $70 in a slot machine. On one hand. (laughs) (laughs) And it's a penny slot. That's the thing. A penny slot could go up to a $20 bet or, you know, something ridiculous. It's nuts. But it's not actually a penny. It's like a penny slot, but it's a dollar. Right. So that is just quite upsetting. They're tricking you. I thought I was going to bring in my little piggy bank. <laughs> just put pennies in. Just put some pennies in there and start cranking up, up <laughs> some wins. But no, I mean, I've tried to read the rules on those slot machines mm. and I'm still like, great. Me and you are the only people that have ever read the rules on there. <laughs> Did you read them too? Yeah. Like, I read them and I was like, awesome. I still have no fucking idea what's going on. Buffalo. I'm just waiting for the buffaloes. You know the stampede sound? It's like... Or like a horse running. Nee. Nee. Yeah, every time. And I'm like, oh, cool. I had, there's like seven buffaloes, four chiefs. And I'm like, why am I... Why didn't I win anything? <laughs> why did I hit the jackpot? I mean, I... What, what do you think it is? Is it they have to align perfectly? Or what? It's, what is it? It's just there's so it depends on how many lines you bet. What? Does, so you can you that can, doesn't even make they, any sense. So for one price you can get a line straight across. So for the next tier you can maybe get a line like this, a line like this, a line like this, Whoa. a line like that. And so depending on how many lines you, I always bet the most because I figure I'm not going to sit here and just bet twenty five cents and have one stupid line. I'm going to get all the lines and then it goes jagged like. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so that's my problem is I'm just not betting enough money. Yes, you need money. to bet all your money. I need to bet everything I own. I mean, Excuse I, w- me, I like to put my home up for sale. <laughs> I know that, that you're not designed to win, but I figured if I am going to sit here and spend this money, I might as well get the most maximum out of it. Max bet. Max bet. Max bet. And the, the one that I won on was a $3 bet, and it was an old-timey machine where you pull it, and it's just wheels spinning. Great. 
and hit those fiery sevens. And I thought, oh, I think I got $100. When you hit those cherries, boy, howdy, you better go up to the bar and get yourself a cocktail with some maraschino cherries in there. You better you better get up there quick. Say, hey, just hit the jackpot with six total cherries. So I'd like 12 cherries because I'm owed that. Because I had 18 lines of cherries. Dude, love the cherries. Love seeing those. And when it just says bar, I'm like, what does that even mean? And then you got the double bar. Is that what they're, do they write that in there to make you think like alcohol? <laughs> I don't, what's the story behind bar? I have no fucking idea. We got the little. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I have no fucking idea. I see it every time and I'm just like, what are, are they talking about like a ballet bar? Are you talking about a saloon? Did this start as a saloon when a man <laughs> first made the wheel and everybody started gambling and one guy would just push the, push the lever? Off? I don't know. All I know, the other thing that happened at the casino was it was about 730 in the morning. Fire alarm went off. No one moved. Not a soul moved. Nope. And mm. then I looked around and I thought, well, I guess I'm not moving either. I don't want to be the one person that's like, fire, fire. <laughs> Didn't that happen to you and your sister at a hotel? Oh, yeah. Caught I fire. forgot about that. Oh, God. I was oh. already having a nervous breakdown and then that happened. Wait, so this, I'm sorry, you were sitting the slot machines at 7.30 in the morning? Yes. Oh, God. That's too early, baby. It was, it was, I mean, I was up late, but I also had to, we would, I had to come down and change my flight or whatever, and I needed to do it on the phone, and I just had to get out of the room to, to talk on the phone, and also you could get a, a drink while you're sitting there, so I'd get me a little Pepsi, because Tropicana is only fucking Pepsi. Uh. Don't go to Tropicana. I'm tell we need when we go to Vegas next, we need to go. It's it's an easy trip to do. We should go in the summer because then we can go to the pools right. during the day. It was cold there. Yeah. We can go to the pools during the day. We could literally just do a three day trip, get a fucking it's so it's a cheap trip. Like it is, and it's fun. Yeah. And then there's all the good ass food and shit everywhere, like late night stuff. That's what we should do is go yes. in the summer and we need to stay on Fremont Street. I'm getting a... Uh, that is a spot. I'm getting a scooter next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I think... I don't see why you wouldn't. I mean, I, my legs are a lot better than they were, but God damn, they ain't good enough for Vegas. Well, and there's so much walking in the casinos, dude. Even when we went for Slowey's birthday earlier, or Slowey's bachelor party earlier this year, mm -hmm. um, just to go down to get coffee, I'm like huffing and puffing. <laughs> I got lost. In the casino, because there's so many different ways to go and like they don't want a sign you to get here. Out. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to get out. No, they want you in there chumming it up. They don't want you to know if it's 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. Why did I heard a computer sound? Yeah, you'll be all right. Sorry, I'm looking at the um, bar thing. Oh, it's fine. Oh, God, Randy, you're fired. Uh, what? The slot machine bar slot symbol has to do with gums. Gums? To be precise, the symbol is a pack of rectangular gum that you can easily buy from your local grocery or convenience store. So it's why cherries and lemons are often present in the slot since these are gum flavors. I ain't never had any fucking cherry gum. I'll tell you that. I did. I would not have suspected any of that. Me neither. It's all about the gum. You say gums. I'm like, oh, we talking about a gummy? <laughs> talking about you trying to get a gummy? You trying to get a half half gummy? What's Harry play? Was he playing hard? He played, uh, he was like me. He would play the, the stupid slots and mm -hmm. we would just get sucked in just because of the noises and lights. Oh, yeah. But he did play roulette. <clears throat> he likes to bet just on red. Mm -hmm. That's went, his color. He went up a couple times. See, I bet on black. Really? I don't like red. Huh. That's actually not true. I do like red. It's the color of the Kansas City Chiefs. 
but red just, I don't know. It's all, it's a daring color. I mean, it's just 50 50 anyway, so. Well, I'm going black. <laughs> okay. Woo, woo, woo. You go red, I, I go red, you go black. We'll see who wins. Well, then we'll split the money. It's very simple. <laughs> It's very simple. It's actually very simple and doesn't have to be that big of a deal. Well, when I played on the table, I was putting freaking chips out there all over the place. Every Ooh. every time we'd do double zero, zero, the two green, mm-hmm. we'd do like one of the three dot, three times ones. We'd do like a six, seven dollar bet. When I won, though, I was like, because we'd been sitting there for like two hours and we're up, we were up. Like a 70 bucks, so I started doing $5 bets, hit that $250 one, and I, I cashed out faster than the machine could even tell me how much I won. Meep. Took Boom, it back, done. Took it back to the room. That's what I would do. Used it to pay for my parking at St. Louis Airport, which was $166. Okay, so, that sounds about right. Uh, don't, that is a lot. Don't park there. What, you park in the <clears throat> fucking rich people lot? I parked in the one that's right outside of the airport because yeah. I, I thought I was only going to be gone for three days. I do that too, though. Next time, taking an Uber. I don't like taking Ubers for my home, though. Why? The people that drive around my house have stinky cars. Ooh. I, I and they try to mask it with the cologne, which then gets onto my clothing. Yeah, and you're very um, honestly. I hope you get COVID so you lose your smell because your <laughs> fucking smell is just annoying. <laughs> It's too much. I I don't want to get COVID. I'll pass away. You smell everything. No, I know. I'm fucking with you. I can't believe you don't have it right now after being in fucking Vegas. I I can't either. I Maybe I'm getting it right as we speak. Maybe you're one of those cats that are like immune to it or something. Who knows? Maybe I've had it and just didn't know. Could be. And that would be the best possible (laughs) option. Well, I did get vaccinated. So that's the Lord protecting me. I'm getting this vaccination by force. (laughs) Just kidding. No one forced me. I have a friend that I worked with. He's currently in ICU with COVID. Oh, that's horrible. Um, At the school? Yes. He's he's an older man who um, respects a lot of what his family says. Sure. And his family suggested he get holy water instead of vaccinated. No. And now he's... um, very ill oh sad what do you mean they they said get holy water they said it's someone shot holy water in them they said to just you know put holy water on them so oh okay okay because he's not allowed to get uh vaccinated vaccine due to religious exemptions correct and now he's sick he's very sick oh that's fucking sad but he's a strong man i'm hoping he'll pull through sure you know with the very Vibrating, very vibrating. Tina's phone went. (laughs) (laughs) I need to get a booster shot. I heard booster is done anally. Is that correct? (laughs) Uh, They they actually call it rectally. (laughs) So. But yeah, I mean, you can get freaking boosted up anywhere. Lady who gave me my booster straight up seemed like she just got a job that day. So, <laughs> well, I don't want that. Seemed lady like it was her first day. I don't want anybody's first day to be wearing a mask down here, oh, shooting Lord. me up. And I mean, I just couldn't stop laughing. I was just like, this is fucking unreal. Unreal. I will say, though, there was a time with COVID that I was just kind of like, I think it's done. I think we're in the home stretch. Life's good. And then all this fucking Omerion, Omicron <laughs> business showed up. And whoo, here we are. Took people out like the fucking Black Plague or whatever that <laughs> thing was that just wiped out communities. God. Holy cannoli. I mean, I got it. And I, you know, yeah, I work around. I think I got it from Rafe. I think he was patient zero. Where he in our family, it? Toledo, Ohio. He was there doing shows. You know, whatever. It's not, here's the thing. You can't blame anybody for doing any of it. It's a fucking public health crisis. It is. You can't be mad at somebody for fucking, I, I had it for like four fucking days. I had no idea. 
And I felt like a real cocksucker. I was like, oh my God, I am such a fucking asshole, man. Like, mm-hmm. but, and there were a couple people who were like, oh my God, oh my God, we didn't know that you had it. And I'm like, I didn't either. Calm the <laughs> fuck down. <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? Have you had it, Randy? Oh, my fucking God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, eons ago, probably. Was that the first round? He yeah. had it the first round. That's what I so think. I'm sure I probably had it since then, too. I don't know, man. Wow, really? I, so I, you think you're kind of a double you whammy? Ma- I think the fucking law of averages, right? It the shit keeps going around and coming back. Probably pretty good chance we've had it. Sure. I mean, it's like, yeah, all the dudes I fucked, I got an STI. <laughs> so what? Law of averages, brother. <laughs> you know, your pussy's going to get rank a little bit every now and then. I will say the congestion has been great because I just have not smelled my stinky <laughs> pussy at all. Not. I, I was so scared that I was losing my smell, but it, I think it really was just a congestion. I, Rafe and I were at home for a week straight. And I'm going to be honest. It was a good fucking time. We were fucking chip. We did start to get a little depressed at the end because every day like started to seem the same. Mm -hmm. And it was a little spooky and sad. But I straight up grabbed the fucking coffee pot, take the thing off of it, put my whole face in it. And Rafe looks at me and goes, what are you doing? I go, just making sure I can still smell. (laughs) I mean, I was freaking spooked. I looked like Bo trying to get a fucking treat. His whole fucking head in a chicken salad container the other day. Put, We gave a chicken salad container, like the remnants of it or whatever. Mm. Rafe hands it to Bo. This motherfucker sticks his whole head in it. Could care less if he's getting smut all over him. You or know what I mean? Could breathe. Didn't care. Shoved it. Literally took his little puggle face and goes... <laughs> You could see, I mean, it was, you could see his eyes through the container, dude. He's fuck, he was fucking in it. That guy loves food, man. He is very food motivated. This God. is what he does when he's smelling something. He goes, <laughs> Rafe does the best impression. Whenever Rafe will be really hungry, sometimes he'll go. <laughs> And then we hand the chicken salad container over to Simba, and he's literally like (laughs) making sure to not get it on his little (laughs) nose or on his little face. Simba is just very like. (laughs) Did he get it before Bo? No, Simba got it after Bo. Oh. You know, and that's fine. And Bo didn't take every last morsel that was in there? He started to. We had to fucking punch him (laughs) to get his head out of there, dude. He was like so crazy. He's like, <laughs> dude, he's psycho. That poor guy. Psycho little dog. He loves a treat. That's for sure. Man, he's starting to walk down the stairs. He'll get down to the last five. He can't see. I'm thinking about getting glow in the dark strips for the stairs. Oh, I know. But whatever. He's like, if I'd known there were this many steps, I wouldn't have fucking walked down them. Mm. <laughs> oh, Man, <laughs> I'm telling you, it would, but yeah, so there was, during COVID, I was just like, the smell, not, I, I was just smelling random things, because, I mean, I was so congested, and I'm still kind of congested, but I literally, at one point, was like, man, usually I can, like, smell if my pussy's getting a little <laughs> rank, you know, I can just smell it a little, you know. So Rafe couldn't smell it. You know what I did at one point? I took my hand, (laughs) held it in between my legs for solid 20 minutes. (laughs) Pulled it up and was like, sounds like I'm good to go. (laughs) And then I went and infected the town. What a blessing. Yeah. No, it was really nice. (laughs) That would make me so paranoid because I'm always wondering if I'm stinking anyway. And then if I can't smell, ooh. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I I was, uh, now that I look back in hindsight, I probably did smell. <laughs> but you didn't know, so it's okay. I had Nobody's no going to say anything to you. Not out, out of doors. Yeah. Now, people were, uh, people were going fucking ape shit about people at work and all that. 
I'm like, dude, you fucking wear your mask down by your fucking ankle. <laughs> you don't even wear a mask. You don't wear act them on like your you tits. give a fuck now. Yeah. You're wearing your mask as a fucking sports bra. <laughs> you scotch tape. Put one mask on this side, one on this side. Use a piece of scotch tape. Think scotch it's a strapless bra. Tape. Scotch tape. I don't. Scotch tape. Scotch tape. You don't need to be using scotch tape for anything other than wrapping gifts. Scotch tape. Nope. Scotch tape. You know, the fucking. It's what a, like. It's a weird name for it. Oh. I mean, it's a name brand. Oh, it is? Scotch tape is a name brand. What's what's Scotch tape actually called? I don't know. Some fucking. Clear tape? It's not clear, though. It is not transparent. Scotch tape's got that little film. It's almost like, wait, is my window dirty or is it just frosted? <laughs> what That's is, what it looks like. What is Scotch tape? The un. It's not clear. <clears throat> the transparent tape is the one that sometimes, I mean, I, I prefer that one. Because, and I used to be a, a big advocate of Scotch tape, you know? You remember the little <laughs> case that it would come in when you were younger and you kind of pull it up? And you can hear the sand moving in it yes. like a timer. Yes. Someone Googled, is Scotch tape Scottish? <laughs> that makes me mad. Scotch tape. Transparent adhesive tape. It ain't fucking transparent. Don't even try. There Don't. is transparent, but there's also the the foggy one. Don't even no. Oh. Scotch tape. That's almost as bad as Bunsen burner. <laughs> <laughs> I am now. Re okay. I s see when I say scotch tape, I'm talking about the, the foggy one. Okay. Now I'm realizing I've been saying a brand this whole time. Can you get me the scotch tape so I can wrap up some presents? I mean, you know, it's fine. The, I will say the one thing that is a bit upsetting. I try to buy the one with the with the little pack with the. With the, uh, what's it called? You know, what we're looking at right there. What is that? Dispenser. Yeah. You know, you remember, hand me that freaking remote. Or the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hand me the remote. Come on, Lindy. Let's watch some TV. Lindy, come on. Lindy. Lindy, I'm trying to watch my programs. Get out of my way. <laughs> Lindy, I swear to God, if you try to talk to me right now, I am not going to be having it, okay? I've been on the phone with scammers all day long, letting them know why they're wrong. So... I ain't got time for this. Scotch Oh, the tape. scammer's been calling a lot. But it, doesn't your phone say scam likely? No, don't it pick don't. it up. What are you, answering the home phone? I pick up, yeah, I'm answering the home phone. No, that, that's the problem. Don't answer the home phone. And it does say scam likely on there, but I thought, <laughs> oh, maybe that's scam, our buddy we know. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what you looking up there? What you looking up, dispenser? Okay, oh, that's what I'm talking about right here. One of these bad boys, and it says scotch on it. That Man, is really nice. If you get one of those as a child, you've made it. Oh, There's nothing better than having one of those. See, but we had one of these when I was younger, and uh, let me tell you, it was nice, but sometimes this little orifice right in the middle kind of gets a little, it almost needs some WD-40. Yeah, yeah. You need to just spray them down. And uh, the he it, what about that heavy duty one up there? This I don't like that one. I don't like that color. Anything that's this color, I'm out. <laughs> Unless it's a nude bra, <laughs> which I don't even like wearing those. I see other hot gals wearing them, and I'm like, you look good in that. If I was to wear that, I would look like I am getting ready to be checked into a home. <laughs> I'm going on hospice <laughs> if I'm wearing anything this color. See ya. Sayonara. I'm about to put on hospice. I know she got the hospice bra on. Yeah, it's just something about... Some, oh, God. She got her little hospice bra on again. Just waiting for somebody to take her into the home. But she's still got a lot of life to live. <laughs> no, take me to the hospice. Could you imagine needing a replacement blade for your tape dispenser? If you tape a lot of stuff up, yeah. I'd just buy the whole new thing. I wouldn't bother with the blade and all no. that. No. You know what I'd do? I'd take this and fucking punt it out of my front door <laughs> into the middle of the street. Then a car be run done with over it. it and pop a tire. Great. Uh, yeah. Anything that's this color, dude. 
Kids love tape, though. They'll tape anything. Oh, heck yeah. Get you a get you your child some tape and they'll be happy for hours. You tape your mouth shut when you're a kid and you're like, ha this is so cool. But really, your parents are like, fuck yeah. Hope you fucking accidentally <laughs> tape your whole stupid face together. <laughs> Ooh. Then they then you get real lucky and you get a, a thing of masking tape. Boy, you are taping. The stuff you couldn't tape with the scotch tape, you're taping with the masking tape. Oh, the tape. masking tape is the nude color, right? That's that, yeah, that ugly color. That r- It really tapes stuff. Whoa. If you had that stuff, man, you were taping. You could tape yourself to the wall with that stuff. You sit me in a chair and just start spinning and spinning around me, and you can tape me right onto there. Whoa. Hey, y'all got some masking tape? What do y'all need the masking tape for? So it's used mainly in painting. I feel like I had some art teachers that had masking tape a lot. All teachers had it because you had to you had to take it and put it in a little circle, put it on the back of a paper, and then place it on the wall. That's what it was, and it was kind of a little more less invasive than a scotch than a than a than a clear tape. And a clear tape doesn't stick to a school wall because lots of times a school wall is concrete. Oh, the masking tape does a better job yeah, sticking yeah. to that. It'll it'll tear the paint off, but it'll hang up your little projects that you want to hang up. Well, we just we got to hang up that photo that uh, Kelly drew because I mean her parents are going to call up if we don't. So go ahead and bring me the masking tape. It's also parent teacher conference night, so we got to put some of their work on the wall. Put all their work up. Nope, is, not a room in there that looked like that. Sorry. I'm going to be honest. This Tropicana Hotel, the uh, that looks like a green screen is out there. Yeah, that's... That looks fake. There was no fruit sitting in my room. I tell you that. <laughs> oh, look it at that. It did have the, the alarm clock that was fit for an iPod, though. Why? Well, they need to take all of those out. I mean... No you, one's using those anymore, okay? It is a... It is... Gone. Nobody has it an iPad. It is a thing of the past. iPod, I'm sorry. If you have an iPad that's charging like that, you better keep that thing hooked on the charger 24-7 because <laughs> it's dying in four seconds. It can't handle the pornography that people watch and the videos that people are watching now. I mean, that looks like their room, but it looks like somebody took Photoshop and took out a lot of yellow. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, did you have room, uh, shutters like that? We did, but they didn't look as fresh. Okay. And then we closed those so we didn't have to see David Copperfield. Didn't see that area at all. What's mm, that? Don't know, but it looks like there's some security cameras. I can see the security cameras loud and clear. Yeah, that's a very nice room. I didn't see that at this particular... It uh, looks like a dinner area. Didn't see that either. Wow, that's really nice. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we went to that restaurant, had a bur- burger that was so rare. Uh, Robert I had- Irvine's. I had to go upstairs and nearly barfed. How did you ask for it cooked? I ordered medium. And it was rare. And it was rare. And it it was so rare that the meat was actually uh, cold. cold. No. And nope. I, I lost it. I. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, that looks, I didn't see that place. Where's that? This is the, the place you'll be performing after your career takes a big fat <laughs> dump. <laughs> Yeah, that that's a uh, this theater in the Tropicana Las Vegas Hotel looks almost like a school auditorium. <laughs> but the flames on the side make it look very new. Very. Ooh. Did you go to Guy Fieri's restaurant while you were there? Not this time. I did. I I, have I went last time or a couple times ago when I was there. Where are these places? OK, that does look like the check in area. Wow. I don't lo- I just I, don't have things be white. Well, it's so boring and it looks void clean of personality. There, In contrast with the rest of the place, it's very dirty looking. Now, I will tell you, when I went up to the to do my business up there, my business every single day, when I was like, I have to stay another day, I didn't go through all those turnstiles. I went directly around it and stood because there wasn't anybody there. Oh, to check! I in. didn't. I didn't go through all those things right there. Yeah, and I mean, you know, you're just. You're there during the week. Things are a little different. (laughs) It's a bit more sad. Yeah, it's, uh, it was sad. But, I mean, you get your nice little bevies 
for free. Well, there. they weren't nice. They were Pepsi. Sure. So that, what about the wind? Did they have Coke? Yes. I feel no, like. No, no. Yes. Wait. Yes. They had these little things, uh, their mini bar. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I take stuff off the mini bar. I'm looking at it, just looking around. And old Harry reads a sign that says, if an item is gone for more than 30 seconds, you will be charged for it. It's got sensors. No <laughs> way. <laughs> and In the Tropicana? No, this was in the wind. Oh, my God. And then on, so that was inside the mini bar. Cause and I, were you like, whoa, whoa, uh, uh, whoa. So I, I ordered a case of Coke from the, the DoorDash so I could put it in the fridge. That's when I opened up the fridge and realized the fridge is stocked full of their expensive shit. Mm-hmm. So what I learned to do was take out one Coke quickly, put another hot Coke in quickly, close the door. I beat the system. Whoa. That is really intense. <laughs> but I'd have old Harry turn on a kept timer. There's their bevies I took their bevy. over there. No, I nearby. So my I had the hot the hot case of Coke. Hot I would Coke. replace one or two at a time with a cold Coke from their mini bar. Mm-hmm. Quickly, within thirty seconds. You gotta be swift. You but, can't be taking any chances because otherwise you're getting charged seventy eight dollars for that fucking Coke. case of Coke. So then above that, they had a little thing that had nuts and candy. This candy other thing. Because they're going to charge you, picked right? Picked it up. It's called the Intimate Kit. Oh, wow. Look at this, Harry. It's got condoms. It's got a lube. Then I pick up the other one. Oh, man, it's another Intimate Kit. Then Harry reads, if you take items off of this one too, bitch, within 30 seconds, you fed to get charged. Did you quickly set them down? Yeah. Here's what I want to know. Why wasn't there a bacterial vaginosis cream <laughs> in the intimate kit? There wasn't. See? I don't know. Because, you know, being intimate is more than just fucking jamming it in and having sex. Being intimate is being okay with a little bit of stank every now and then. <laughs> being intimate is being close with somebody. <laughs> being intimate doesn't necessarily have to mean something, entering something, or a lip yes. touching that whether that could be a vaginal lip or an actual one of your lips it from had your a, mouth. It had a masturbation sleeve for a man. I'm sorry, what? You know how that sometimes they'll have those sleeves a dude can hold on to to jerk off so it feels different? I have never in my life heard of this. It's real. I'm imagining a piece of sandpaper or something. <laughs> Maybe more like a jelly type, like a rubbery type. Masturbation Poor Randy's, sleeve. Randy's Google search. He goes, damn it. Masturbation sleeve. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh no, we'll get canceled. Whoa, that one's got, that looks like teeth in there. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> wow. They had a masturbation sleeve in the intimate kit. Yep. <laughs> that is just really sweet. That's what they had in there. So yeah, I did not get charged with that. They came by at one point and goes, "We need to check your mini bar." And I go, "For what?" Like I was all guilty. I go, "For what?" <laughs> and they were like, "Ma'am, listen, <laughs> your tone of voice is just really suspect. So unfortunately, we're charging you for everything. I need to come inside and I need to look at the mini bar. <laughs> I don't care if your buddy's naked." If your buddy buddy's naked, using masturbation sleeve, this is totally fine. But I need to come in and inspect the mini bar. And if I see fingerprints on one of them, I have a little duster. It's uh, similar to a flex seal kind of thing, except uh, it's just more. Uh, if there are fingerprints on it, unfortunately, you'll be charged. So, uh, ma'am, uh, we realize that you, you walk in you- and Harry's using the masturbation sleeve. We realized that you uh, have been switching out Cokes. And the reason we know is because we put tracking device on each one of our Coca-Cola can. And um, we have spotted the location <laughs> to this desk. <laughs> there are 13 empty Coke can and they all have serial number from Win. So unfortunately, uh, we are very sorry, but either you will pay this uh, fine of five thousand dollars per can, <laughs> you'll pay this fine, or uh, we will pursue legal action. <laughs> so, 
just don't tell Whitney, okay? You charge me. Don't charge Whitney. Who's Whitney? Whitney Cummings. She performed at your theater last oh. night. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no way you're with her. <laughs> no, I I am. There's a picture of me with her, man. Well, I need to see this evidence. Uh, exhibit A, B, C. We need at least A, B, C okay. evidence. Here's a picture of me with her. Doesn't look all. like you. No, that's me. That was Because right now... <laughs> Your hair is so sweaty, it's stuck to your skin. So I actually don't see any resemblance of you that, in this me. woman. That's me on stage. Okay. I'm wearing a nice vintage leopard print jacket. I have mm-hmm. makeup on. I know I don't have makeup on now and I look like shit, but You're that's wearing me. towel around and your whole right tit is sneaking out. <laughs> <laughs> actually, this isn't a towel. This is the robe that you gave us to wear but it's very small and it doesn't even fit around me you sure because win is spelled w-y-n-n and this says w-i-n-n so i don't know how to tell you we don't believe you and you just can't see the letters because i'm so big my body's stretching it out oh boy wow didn't never seen a girl with this fat tits <laughs> wearing this kind of robe this is truly amazing hey hey andre Come over here. <laughs> Come look at this. No, Andre I- is my uh he's my security guy. He stands outside when I come to check the mini bar. We've had a couple <laughs> altercations with guns before. You know, oh people get God. people get very upset over this mini bar thing. And listen, I get what you're doing. You're trying to work the system. You think I haven't worked the system? I'm an immigrant. I've worked the fucking system. Well, so let me tell you something. What's your name again? Lucy? Libby. Lucy. Okay. Hey, Andre, <laughs> come in here. Look at Lucy's uh she she ruined the robe pretty much. I mean, you, you can't. I mean, seriously, it's honestly so crazy. You need to come in here and get a load of this. Don't you guys ever have fat people stay here? Why no, don't you no, 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 no. Robe? It's not about fat people. Don't start this kind of stuff with me. You think I don't know what fat is? It's Bob, says- Baba Yaga. Ever heard of her? No. Well, she's a spooky fat woman. <laughs> she's not. She's not spooky because she's fat. She's spooky because she's like a witch lady. <laughs> It's really Mama's, kind of a super ooh. spooky. Maybe no. ask your uh, ethnic boyfriend over here. <laughs> Maybe he knows wow. something about this. He <laughs> looks pretty exotic. <laughs> I have olive skin, but not like that, you know. And his hair is really long. Must Leave be, him out of this. Must okay? be some kind of Jewish. You know, we are not sure. But just because he fits the robe doesn't mean you have to act nicer to her. To <laughs> him. I'm not, I'm, he doesn't even have robe on. He's sitting there <laughs> using masturbation sleeve like there is no tomorrow. I mean, I can't even, I bet this guy hasn't even played slots one time. He's just been in here master jerking off. Just going crazy. But seriously, like I said, I want you to know, you know, you, you want to see a picture of my wife? She's a big lady like you. Uh, I'm not let me sa- see her. I'm not saying, hold on one second. Let me show you who my wife is. Just wait one moment. Andre, keep your eyes on the mini bar right now because I'm going to be looking at my cell phone while I pull up picture of my wife. So you need to keep your eyes right there, okay? I know you kind of have one track mind and right now you're probably looking at her nipples. You better stop. <sighs> one all, moment. All this over a case of soda. I just, I can't believe. You need to calm down. You're getting irate. Me calm down. What I did was perfectly legal. I switched one of the same items for another same item that was cold. I can't sit here and drink hot Coke. Okay, listen, if you work at the bar and you rotating out Cokes to try to cool them down, what you're doing, perfectly legal and correct thing to do. But right now, what you have done is a crime. So, okay. Well, if it's a crime, I'm just going to tear this whole room up. Here's my wife. This That's is my Roseanne. wife. Roseanne. What are you talking about? That's a famous comedian, Roseanne. No, this is my wife. So I think uh, you're married to Roseanne. <laughs> yeah. I'm married to a woman named Roseanne. That's the Roseanne. She's a comedian. She takes a lot of Ambien and does crazy things online. Um, you're married to a famous woman. I don't think so. Not that I know of. Wow. What I will say is, boy, people call her constantly. Just. Always calling her blah, 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 blah. She had her own show. Talking about ABC and all of this stuff. I don't watch any of these programs. I just think she is talking to fan club, a book club, but it's about a a show. So I don't know what to tell you. But what I got to do, what I do have to tell you is her tits, just as big as yours. I am not afraid of large tits. Okay. (laughs) 
I wasn't trying to make the tits an issue. What I'm saying is offer a robe that's larger. One size doesn't fit all. You know what? That's fine. Thank you for your suggestion. I actually really like this. Now, let me go downstairs, grab suggestion box, have you write on a piece of paper, and then you can drop suggestion inside of the box. Are you suggesting Usually, I can't walk down there? Oh, not at all. I am just... I Because I would appreciate it if you brought it up, because I don't really want to walk <laughs> down there again. Because every time I come back up to my room, I have to pa- pass a security point where I have to prove that my key works and that I'm staying here. Honestly, that is really annoying because I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally left mine somewhere and then I have to go by. And trust me, it's difficult trying to prove that you are, you know, part of this organization. Well, even though I think everybody knows me, next thing you know, there's so much turnaround nowadays. I mean, businesses are really suffering. Just a lot of stuff's going on. So if you know all that, why did you come up here to check the mini bar? You knew I was switching out the Cokes, man. Times are hard. I can't afford the money that you guys are going to charge me just for swapping out a Coke. I replaced the item. Because I have a job to do. And if I don't enforce this job, who will? Who will? And by the way, your nipple (laughs) is literally on the ground. But we have to head out. (laughs) So thank you so much, Lucy. This has been a really nice time. Yeah, Lucy. Loved every minute of it. Sir? Me? Yes, you. I am Leonid. Ivanovich. What took you so long to say that? What the fuck do you mean? This is not my first language, okay? Sometimes it's a bit tough. When somebody asks my name, I immediately say, Libby. You okay. said, Leon. I was trying to do it for dramatic effect like James Bond does <laughs> in his films. Sometimes he has a little pause. He go, They're like, what's your name? And he's like, Bond. <laughs> did you feel that pause? I did, Let me but do it, it again. made me suspicious. Ask, hey, ask, what's your name, man? Bond. James Bond. But that's not your name. You said your name was Leonovich. No, I did not. See, you don't listen. This is a problem with these women. They don't listen. Hey, exotic man. <laughs> is she have trouble listening sometimes? Huh? Oh, God. He's really about to come with his masturbation <laughs> sleeve. So, again, need to head out. But, you know, if you're going to do this... Uh, Playing the system thing, you need to be smarter about it. What I called it was a switcheroo. Every time I'd say, it's the switcheroo, and I'd have my friend back here get a timer ready. Well, it's not a very good switcheroo if uh, the sensor gets logged over here. So. I didn't know that you guys had serial numbers on the cans, or yeah. I would have done it. I, I know, it's all very upsetting, but uh, here's one thing I will tell you before I go. Yes? Again, your other nipple is now on the ground. Oh, God. Gotta go. See ya. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. I'll be back later tonight. (laughs) James Bond. (laughs) What a cool guy. Wow. I liked him. Rude. I thought he was kind of rude, but it's like that's it. That's the charm of of an Eastern blocker, dude. He didn't even check his the the bar, though. They don't. (laughs) He just came in and read me my rights. (laughs) Read me my rights. You're under arrest. Oh, what a cool guy. I liked him. He was fun. He was a nice guy. I, I mean, even liked Andre, who didn't say anything. Clearly married to Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a hundred percent married to Roseanne Barr, and had no idea who she was. Didn't have a lick of an idea. Not a clue. That's the kind of guy that's like, I don't watch TV. I don't have time for it. And it's like he's constantly just like unzipping belts. He's like one of those people that when they get ready for work, like they do this. You know, they put <laughs> on all their clothing and they go unzipping his belt yeah like he's like taking off his belt really dramatically and then he like hangs it on a notch <laughs> like he takes his job too seriously he's i i didn't get to have a printout of how much i was charged so i don't know if i was charged for the intimate kits or not and i when i say i i mean whitney coming they itemized it for whitney and we're like intimate kit <laughs> 80, Times two. 86 <laughs> masturbation sleeve Times two. Oh, God. That is fucking funny. They had an intimate kit. That's Vegas, so. I mean. It's hilarious that they think we're going to, like, have protected sex, you know? <laughs> it's hilarious that they put the font so small that I couldn't read it. So you had to hold it that up I, real close. That I had to have another person read it for me because I had no idea that it said 30 seconds. Yeah. That's what kind a, of syst- I mean, that system just blew my mind. I, I mean, thought, it's crazy. God. 
It's very extra. It's like, that shouldn't be the system, dude. The system should be if you fucking drink it and it's missing from the thing, that's that. Right. You know, what if you're just checking out the ingredients in something that's in there? And what if you, sure. you're checking out the ingredients, you happen to have a seizure and fall to the floor. Your seizure lasts two to three minutes. Then you wake up and, oh, I'm going to put this back. Exactly. Or what if you have narcolepsy and you nod off while you're holding it? Many, I mean, it's really, uh, what is it called? Um, what's that called? Um, not inclusive. Not inclusive. Also, what's that other word? Uh, it's just not inclusive. I can't think of the other word. It's not inclusive. We need to be thinking about, you know, other people. Because, I mean, you know, maybe maybe somebody could be watching a softcore porn film while they're checking out the ingredients and maybe something catches their eye and they get stuck and they're looking at the TV holding the item. Sensor mm-hmm. goes off, you know. What if a sloth stays there? Sloth moves very <laughs> slowly. Very slow. And he's just reaching. Yeah. He could... His hand is going so slow. You, you know, can't there's put exo- it back in thirty seconds. There's exotic animals everywhere in Vegas, <laughs> especially at the wind. <laughs> exotic men, exotic <laughs> animals. <laughs> Just oh, I love that he called him exotic. <laughs> <laughs> he is very exotic. Calling someone or something exotic is like racist. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I guess it probably is that, but it's also just like so stupid. <laughs> Like you're a dumb, per- you're you, to me. You're just kind of dumb if you're like, "Wow, that is really exotic." It's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Ableist. That was the other word. Ah, ableist. Ableism. Exotic. Ageism. Originating in or characteristic of a distant foreign country. Yeah, that's borderline racist. I would think for sure. But canceled. it's like we're canceled. We're not canceled, Harry. In that scenario, that Eastern Bloc man that is married to Roseanne Barr has clearly made a lot of mistakes in his life. For one, coming up to my room and telling me that both my nipples were on the ground. <laughs> he goes, okay, before I go, <laughs> nipples on the ground. And actually, they were on my stomach. That's a difference. There was so. another four feet for them to hit the floor. Oh, Christ. Oh, all right. Well, I got to fucking take a leak. Yeah. We need to get out of Randy's hair. We've been here for too long. Yeah. yeah. Libby grabbed her purse like a fucking elderly woman. It's just like, <laughs> well, usually when I'm about to go, I like to just grab get my, my belongings. Let me get my belongings. and I was hoping I'd pick it up and there'd be a, a fountain soda in there and some food. No, I'm so hungry right now. I'm I so hungry. And I'm hungry. Yeah. All right, y'all. We love you. Uh, we miss y'all. Thanks for sticking with us for our little breaks. Things are crazy because... I had COVID. Libby travels a lot. I'm going to be out in the, the road doing some shows in uh, February. So things are getting crazy. But listen, just shut the fuck up and bear with us, everybody. We're trying, okay? okay? We're trying. And we could do Zoom, but Zoom calls aren't the same as being in person. It's just not. It's not. And we're not in COVID anymore. So it's like we don't need to do the Zoom calls, okay? I mean, not that we're not in COVID, but I'm saying like we're not in the intense quarantine thing anymore. Where everybody is at home, literally. Yeah. So, yeah. Moron. yeah, y'all are fucking morons, okay? But yeah, we're trying. <laughs> we're so the morons. We love you. Yeah, we are. If we had better planning skills, i.e. me, <laughs> we'd be doing better. Well, that's okay. You're just enjoying life and that's good. You deserve it. Oh, wow. You do. Proud of you, bud. All right. Love yous. Love yous. Uh-huh. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> You want an intimate kit? <laughs> and cut. Got it. <laughs> Are you? Oh God, that's spooky. Oh, I got it.